What is up everyone? Are you ready to see what exactly is waiting for us at the top of this elevator? I bet you were. Well, I see that failed Chosen and her traveling band of fools are still alive. You're as stubborn as cockroaches. You and Farley deceived me. Prisea, I'd have treated you so much better had you made me a Crucius Crystal in that little body of yours. Die! <laughs> now, now, settle down. Have a look at the projector. I've got a special underwater show for you. And there's seawater. How could you do that? They'll all be killed. Damn you. It's stop rising. You bastard. Stop the water now. It's too late. I know why you've come here. I'm sure you intend to shut down my mana cannon. But you won't succeed. I filled the corridor leading to the mana cannon with seawater. You're gonna kill all those people at the ranch just to stop us? Who cares about the lives of pathetic, inferior beings? The mana cannon will be completed once I get the Crucius Crystal. Thor's hammer in my possession, you Gracil and Crucius will beg for my mercy. Hmm, even that eyesore of a tower will fall before my cannon. What do you hope to accomplish by destroying the Tower of Salvation? <laughs> That's nothing you lower life forms need to concern yourselves with. The Crucius Crystal is finally mine! Now, let's see. I think I'll test its power first by equipping it on myself. I'd say that was one experiment that went wrong. But anyway, last episode, got uh, another x gem level 4, so guess what, now I don't stagger. And so, you know what that means. And I can also spell charge. Which means I can do this. <laughs> I like doing that. The, adva <laughs> the reason why that's actually a good thing. It's, well, one, it can add to your combo. And two, it, <laughs> and two, it can, um, it doesn't use TP. Oh, shoot. I probably should have guardian that. Rain, help me out. Help me out. Help Lloyd out. Help her stay out. Yeah, help us all out. Oh shoot, he's an over limit. I just realized. Ah! Press, press the block and the pause button at the same time. Good job, Perseia. That was terrible, per se. Don't knock him down. We're trying. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Okay, fine, fine. I see how it is. He's going to use Grave. Oh, he's got Grave and Stalagmite? That's just silly. Alright, I'm going to use the Life Bottle so he doesn't lose Experience. Or, doesn't lose Nurse. Come on, 15, yeah. You ready? Lightning Tiger Blade. Only bad part is you do that unison attack, you lose your stored up attack. Oh great! Oh great! Oh great! Okay, fair enough. 
Not really. That's not very fair at all, actually. Resurrection! Okay. I'm gonna get that combo up. Oh, that ended my combo. No! Okay, whatever. We didn't get 50. I cannot get my time back. Alright, compound X skills. Nice. What's happening? My, my body! My body is disintegrating! I'm not surprised. Never heard that line before. No, he's activated the self destruct system. Boto warned us not to destroy this place. Damn it, we have to stop it. Impossible. The only one among us who can handle this machinery is Rain. Most Tethiolans don't really study the details of Magi technology very much. Professor! I know, but I can't do this by myself. We'll take over from here. The rest of you, go and escape through the hatch over there. Boda, you're okay! There'll be plenty of time for chit-chat later. Leave now. You'll only get in our way. Okay. Oh, Lloyd's the only one who made it. <laughs> oh no, we've got to open that door! It's no use! Oh, it won't budge! Move! Boda did this on purpose. They knew the water was coming and locked it from the inside. Why would they do that? If the door opens, this area will be flooded as well. And as you can see, the ceiling is covered by a dome. There's nowhere for the water to escape. They did it... to save us? No! We have to do something! Damn it! Isn't there anything we can do? We've stopped the self-destruct system. Boda! Open the door! If we destroy the dome overhead... Our goal was to modify each ranch's mana reactor in order to fire mana at the Great Seed. Now that we've finished reprogramming this control room, our mission is complete. We need you to get the message to Yuan that we have succeeded. Tell him yourself! Open the door now! We pray for your success in regenerating the world. Please see to it that Martel is finally allowed her eternal sleep. For you and sake as well. No! Man. Everyone, behind you. More dragons! What are those things? They look like transport dragons. Their cages probably opened when the self-destruct system was activated. Look out! Here they come! Damn it! Lloyd, how'd you forget we fought these earlier? <laughs> you should not be surprised, but, eh, uh, you know. Lloyd being Lloyd. He fights an enemy and then he forgets what it was. Eh, come on. Wait, what? Where's my charge? Nurse! Oh, stupid nurse. I can't get my attack off. I'm, I charged up the grave. Ah! Give me a break. Just 
He's gonna attack the air. Don't, don't mind me. Boom! Man, I rule. I'm so cool. <laughs> Only three. Damn, they're tough. If we lose, we'll never be able to pass on Boda's message. Mythos. What? What was that? Was that a summon spirit? Genus Rain, everybody! That's Mythos's voice. What's Mythos doing here? Please get on these reards. Let's worry about the how and why later. All right. Mythos, it's really you. But what was that attack just now? And how did you get a Riard? I'm sorry. I was worried about all of you and I just couldn't stay behind. So I asked the Renegades to let me borrow a Riard. But what was that powerful attack? That was a actually, I don't know either. When I heard the flute, I tried my best to get inside. So I just started blasting the dome with fireballs. It's amazing how he got there so quickly. Then all of a sudden, a golden sparkling bird appeared and helped me. A golden sparkling bird. Could it be? Aska? It can't be. Why would a summon spirit... What do you mean? Do you think Genus called Aska when he played the flute? Mythos's flute? Mythos's Riard is clipping through Genus's Riard, in case you didn't notice. I wonder. We'll need to investigate the flute itself to find out the truth. But shouldn't you all rest first? Let's head back to Palma Costa. I must apologize to me. I left without telling him. All right. It's not like we'll figure anything out by dwelling about it here. Let's head back. Yeah. Thank you, Mythos. We owe you our lives. I didn't realize how amazing you are. N not, not at all. I'm so happy we're friends. Yes, me too. Everyone, you're back. Yeah, but barely. Neil. I'm sorry for leaving without telling you. I'm so relieved you're safe. I was so worried about you. As long as you're safe, that's all that matters. You can relax. The Palma Costa Ranch is not operational. I see. That's good to hear. So what are you going to do now? Well, we need to continue the world regeneration journey. Right, Colette? Ah! Y yes We're uh, working hard on it! I'm sure you are. We're all counting on you, Chosen One. Oh yeah, I need to give Mythos back his flute. Oh no! It's broken. I, I, I'm i so sorry, I know how important it was. No, no, it's alright. The flute may be broken, but my memories of my sister are still intact. Mythos, I'm sorry, if I can fix it. It's alright. It was very old, but thank you. Mythos, does this flute have some kind of special power? I... I don't know. But my sister said that it was made from the nut of a tree that it became extinct long ago. Hmm, the nut of an extinct tree. That knowledge may be useful later on. Let's keep it in mind. So then, what now? We have to tell you about Boda! Huh. Yeah, we also need to find out if we can use the Riard so Mythos can return to Tetheal. Shall we pay a visit to the Renegade Sun? Ah, yes, of course. Alright, let's go see them Renegades. Let's get out of town. We have to go to the Silveron base. Okay, let's go. I'll wait here. I want to be alone for a while. Mythos. Ah, no. It's not. It's not about the flute. I'm sorry. All right. It's dangerous, so don't leave this area. I won't. 
And while we're at it, let's return that reard that Pithos borrowed. What? Oh, yes, please do. You're back. You win! Photos! He died. Yes, he asks us to tell you that he completed his mission. I see. And we'll activate the dimensional transfer system. You may go between the worlds as you like. Is that all you have to say? Boda gave his life for the renegades and... Lloyd, it is not our place to speak. This guy has been with that Boda for a long time. Nothing we say will make a difference. Fine. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Our companion borrowed a Riard from you, so we'll return it to you now. Borrowed one of our Riards? We, we haven't... What's wrong? No, it's nothing. We'll take it. Ask the control room staff about procuring energy for the dimensional transfer system. Ewan, I'm sorry. All of our rears are still in our hangar. What is going on? Dimensional transfer system using the rears. Blah blah, I know how to do this game. Welcome back! You're going, you're going back now, right? Yeah, we'll take you to all Tessa's place. Thanks. Well, Mythos, have a good time with Altessa. You'll come and visit me, right? Of course! Take care. I'll be praying for your success in avenging your sister. Thank you. Avenging a Persea sister? What are you talking about? Oh, that's right. We haven't told Regal about it. Ah, um, hey, you know, that's not the topic we really need to drag out now, right? What are you talking about, Zelos? This is important! Perseus' sister was killed! Killed? Yes! It seems Perseus' younger sister served under a noble named Bryant! But then her master, Bryant! He's a monster! How can he kill a child like that? Sister? It can't be! Perseus, what was your sister's name? Alicia. I see. Do you know something about this? I may know who that murderer might be. Really? Take me to Altamira. Alright, Mythos, um, you just keep standing there. We'll we'll head on over to Altamira. Alright, let's go I guess Regal knows what's up. Let's go find out what he knows. Where did you hear about Alicia? At Alicia's grave, in the Sky Terrace of a company called Lezareno. I see. Let's go there, then. Okay, let's get the... Let's get the juicy story here. The Elemental Railway will now depart. Lezareno Company. And away we go! Whoa, whoa what happened? What's going on? The ex sphere broker, Farley, went inside. Farley? He must pay. Ugh. Let's go on in! Tell me the password to the inner area of the Toys Valley Mine, now! I don't know anything about it. Wrong answer! How about I tell you instead? Master Regal, what are you doing here? So, the President himself decided to pay a visit. Perfect. President? The route to the Toys Valley Mine opens by my voice print and cornea scan. Forcing it open would undoubtedly cause the X-Sphere Mine area to collapse. Is that so? In that case, Regal, you're just going to have to come open it for us! I'm going to be out of business if I don't get my hands on some more X-Spheres. I think not. Besides, Rodile is dead. 
You don't have anyone to unload huge numbers of X-Spheres on. Are you stupid? I don't need Redile. I've got the Pope himself on my side. And there's plenty of people around who'd love to get their hands on some X-Spheres. That's enough. I cannot forgive you for killing an innocent person. Kujinawa, you're working with this guy? Soon, the king will die, and the pope will take over. And when that happens, I'm going to grind your pathetic Lazareno company into the ground! Are you all right, George? Yes, Master Regal. Thank you. My name is Regal Bryant. I was granted the title of Duke by His Highness, and also the President of Lazareno Company. Although it would seem that the Chosen already knows me. I saw you at one of the Princess's birthday parties. Oh yeah. I'd forgotten that this guy's actually a member of High Society too. <laughs> then Alicia's killer, Bryant, is... Well, wait. It can't be... Regal. Alicia. Master, I'm so happy to see you again before I disappear. I'm sorry. Even after death, you still suffer. It's all right. It's not your fault. Alicia. What do you mean? Alicia and I were in love. Then I, his servant, interfered and forced them apart. Alicia was handed over to Varley. He wanted to use her in an X-Sphere experiment. Was he... Trying to create Crucius Crystals? It seems so. But the experiment failed. I've fulfilled my promise. The mine is yours. Now please, return Alicia to me. <laughs> sure thing, Bob. You can have her. I don't have any use for a failed piece of work like that anyway. W what? This is Alicia. She wasn't compatible with the x -Fear experiment. It worked just fine on another from her family. Master Rico, please, kill me. I... I can't. I could never kill you with my own hands. It's because I love you that I want you to do it. Rico killed me in order to save me. It was the only way. Just like marble. I'm so glad I got to see you again in the end. I have no regrets now. So please, Rico, stop punishing yourself. Alicia. But with my own hands, I... I will disappear very soon. So please, don't leave me anything to worry about. You don't need those shackles. You've suffered enough. I took the life of the one I love. These are the symbol of my crime, as well as my punishment. You don't need that punishment anymore. Please, Regal. Genus and I once experienced the same thing you did, and I also imagined what it must have been like for my dad. When my mom turned into a monster and he struck her down, he must have suffered as well. Your father did the same thing? That's what I heard. I don't know if the decisions you or my dad made were correct, but I don't think my mom would have wanted my dad to punish himself and live the way you have. Is that true? Yes, it's just as he says. At least, I don't want you to live like that. All right, but I will never use these hands as tools of death. I swear that to you, to you and to Lloyd. And once we have defeated those who use X-Spheres to toy with people's lives, I shall remove these bonds. Thank you, Master. Perseia, I think I can finally rest in peace. Please destroy the crystal before I am totally absorbed into the X-Sphere. Why? Can't you stay like you are now? 
If I stay like this, I will live on forever. An isolated consciousness, unable to even speak, existing for eternity. It would be true hell. Prisea, Regal, what do we do? Please, set her free. Yes. Goodbye, Alicia. Thank you, Prisea. Please forgive Master Regal. Please. The deed has been done. I'm sorry I never said anything about this until now. I am a criminal. Master Regal confessed to killing Alicia and went to prison on his own will. While I was in prison, the Pope promised to arrest Varley in exchange for kidnapping Colette. I believed him and agreed to do it. So that's why you are after us? Yes, please. I ask you to postpone my final judgment until we defeat Crucius and stop them from using X-Spheres to toy with people's lives. As long as it's okay with Prisea. Anyway, we'd already thought of Regal as a friend. Farley was responsible for Alicia's death as well, okay? I'll try not to think of you as my enemy. I'm not sure I can change right away, but... I'm sorry. It was Alicia's last request, so... I won't say a word about it anymore. Regal obtained the title of El Presidente! And speaking of which, I wonder if that's a good title. Ooh, defense and intelligence. Well, <laughs> intelligence is probably not that important, but the defense boost is good. Um, over limit times increase, increases unison attack power. Brain has nothing, unison attack power. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. It said they gained some earlier. And I didn't check that until now. Back to the entrance! We're gonna go off to a. I wanna go fight an optional boss real quick. So I'm gonna be off to. Let's see. Right near the forest by Ozette. That forest, whatever the heck you pronounce it as. Alright, where's Mizuho? Okay, hold on. I need to find Mizuho first. There it is. So I know from this entrance I can get there. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait, there's a save over here. I can use that. I was about to go back outside and save, but I forgot that there's a save right here. So, from my understanding, there should be an optional boss to fight right over here. Yep. For fight, 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 for fighting is everything. I remember m my reason to exist. Strong one, fight me. You're on. Wager your life and come. And here's the sword dancer again. You thought some of you might have thought, "Oh, this is this is the only fight," but nope, you you actually fight this guy again, and now he's stronger than ever. And as you can see, he's doing a ton of damage right now. I'm gonna make he's weak against light, so I'm gonna put Lloyd's Tempest on. Wait, he can cast magic? Oh my god! Thunderblade! Alright, come on, do some major damage. Alright, we're good. Thank you, Rain. Oh boy. Oh, that didn't even hit me, that hit Rain. Of course he goes after the healer. Why am I not surprised? 
And combos over. Okay, I'm gonna go charge a thing. Eruption will cover some nice space, so... Whoa! These guys are dying. Where are these guys? They're not attacking. <laughs> that's good. that's one of the things I like about it. You can use a you use a guardian, and you can just like chain that right into an attack using the the X skills. I like that. My goodness, this guy is definitely a lot harder than the first one. Cause I took the first one out in like 30 seconds or something like that. This one is it's taking a few minutes at least. One, if it doesn't die before the unison attack, I think the unison attack will probably kind of good. Alright. Okay, 23 hit count. That sucks. Oh, I almost forgot to use Tempest. Woo! Oh, he didn't die from the unison attack. That would have been bad if I forgot to use Tempest. That would have been a... That would have been two free attacks I would have been missing out on. Oh, he's, he's flashing. He's about to die. He's about to die. He's about to die. Come on, die. <laughs> no. Die. 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 Thank you. I, I remember I am the strong ones. I wait next time. Next time. Yasakani Jewel was found. That thing's gotten stronger. Yes, it has. It took much longer. So, what's that jewel do? Alright, I'll test it out on Genus. Let's see. Genus has small HP regeneration, no status effect. And if I put the jewel on him, that gives him nullify all physical ailments. That sounds pretty good. I think someone someone that I'm actually going to use is going to get that. So, okay, who do I give it to? Zelos. Nope. I could give it to Rain. Actually, I'll give it to Rain. It's, you want you don't want your healer getting all messed up from from random physical ailments. So yeah, I'll just give that to Rain. That sounds like that sounds like the plan here. All right, guys, that's that's it for this episode. So hope you enjoyed as usual. I will we'll, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, later.